hi and welcome to my channel so today guys how to sew victoria corset you know we have the other side of corset but this one is more like a waist trainer it the effect is more on the waist okay so it's victoria corset and these are the measurements we'll be needing shoulder burst waist hip half length blouse length boss point on the bars and nipple to nipple okay now you can pause the video to look at the calculation very well i did my division okay and at the bust i added four at the waist i added five as my sewing allowance and that allowance Victoria corset has so much that on it, okay? So that is why you have four, five, four. It's more on the waist so that I can increase it on the waist. And for you to be on the comfortable side, not make mistake, all right? Maybe when you sew the first one, you can now reduce your addition of allowance, okay? So these are the measurements. And please do subscribe to my channel, friends, okay? So when next I post videos, you'll be notified. I do post amazing videos every week, okay? So these are the calculations we'll be using for our corset. So let's move to the table. So guys, let's cut our corset. Our highest measurement is 15, which is the hip according to the calculation okay so you will fold you either fold 16 or 15 and a half or you can even fold 17 all right so what i have here is 16 and quarter okay as my width this is just that my pattern paper this is the length okay so I have folded. The first thing you do is mark your measure, your basic measurements. All right, you place the tape. Now I'll be using it for the armhole. All right, and my boss point is ten and a half. Okay, now my half length on the boss. Sorry. The underboss measurement is 14 and the waist we have 17 as the waist and the blouse length we have 25 and half okay so let me connect it, it needs to be straight I used a 10 and a half, 14, 17, 25, I'll be 20, yeah, 25 and a half. Okay, so we need to roll it. Okay. You roll it. This is the first thing first, okay. You mark the measurements, the basics out all right so this is my burst which is my b and this is a b i p this is u b and this is w this is h or b l all right see it very well okay hope you're seeing what i'm doing now let's mark our shoulder our shoulder is eight okay eight um down here too we'll mark the eight too so we we'll just connect it up this is the eight From here, you connect. Now, this is more like our basic measurement first. Then the next thing at the boss, we have 14. 
as our measurement this is 14 at the waist we have 14 too i'll be 14 and a half at the hip we have 15 okay so we are connecting our basics it's very important to do the basics it makes it easy for you right ah, we have done our basics with the calculations we had then the next step is our nipple to nipple which is four and a half you start from here to measure it from the bust okay four and a half four and a half just keep measuring keep measuring four and a half you go down four and a half all right the next thing is for you to connect them once you have done that now you come to your under boss once you have done this you mark your one under boss here one under boss here one you see that you connect it to the boss point all right did you see what i did this is the first thing okay now once you have done that you come from here you connect it down to the end of the this is our first breast to pattern okay now this is my burst my center burst and the distance from of my center burst to my upper chest is too small for me all right so i'll be going up by one inches i would like it to be four inches above because they will be deepening and all the rest of them i want to be on the safe side so i'm marking one inches above now you can leave yours this way if you want the boss part too exposing you can go without adding this one that I just added. There will be a sleeve attached to this. All right. So you connect it straight here. Connect your one straight. So, okay. Now, once you've done that, you come here. Take three quarter inches the reporter not one all right you connect it from here connect it from here this is it three quarter inches three all over four three all over four one inches one inches all right this is the boss point now this is the first once you've done this the next thing you do is to come here by the waist this is 10 all right so this remaining part you divide it into two so what you do you know this part is not straight okay and this part too is not straight all right so you use your boss point this line all right to measure what to connect now from the boss point to this side we have them um, we have um 10 from here what we have left is 10 so what you do is you start from here to measure your five inches this straight line which line are you using 
we are using the 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 nipple to nipple line to mark it we are using the nipple to nipple line to mark it have that in mind the nipple to nipple line that is what we used to get the second line we took half i divided what is left into two so once i've marked it you come to the waist you come to the waist and mark all right mark your half inch cheese half inches two you connect it down you connect this down so you mark your half half inches all right once you mark it half half inches you connect it back here To the line of the under bus sorry to the line of the bus then from there you connect this watch what i did i did half half here and connected it to this part the on bus point then from the bus point i connected this down all right now you know the back will be deep so for me my back will come here like um i'd like it to be 10 down you know i like it to be 10 down so this is where my back will be so there will be a curving all right it will go this way and have a little bit of sweetheart neck and go down this is how my but this will not be done now i'll do that um when once i finish sewing all right sewing my pad joining i cannot do this all right but just have it in mind you can do anything okay so the next thing to do is come to your waistline at the center front here i don't know if you're saying it very well at the center front here mark half inches here from here you connect it to the end here all right then from here so you connect it to the end and decide to go up but the most important thing is this part here all right so this is my first part of the corset all right so remember i did from here for me to get this plate was from here to here. I started my measurement here, the set nipple to nipple. Now, the next thing to do is for us to cut. Where is my scissors? All right, let's cut. Actually, I want to cut the first. First, I need to number this i don't want to make a mistake okay um one c f center front so one this is the direction sorry this should be the direction not this then two all right and three this way okay I've numbered them so I don't mistake it for him. I don't make mistake. So 
I like to actually use only this pattern for my uh, back too. So I'll just open it up and cut. Now in my cutting, I'll cut out my basics first. All right. I'll go for my basics first. shoulder so what's what I'm doing I'm cutting the front to you see it's going up I just did the cutting of my basics first, alright? Now, the next thing is for us to cut this. This is my front pieces, okay? Let me write front, 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 and front one, front two, front three. I need to be careful. I don't want to miss any, all right? Uh -huh. That is it for my front, okay? Let's cut the back. Now we have to cut our back, okay? As usual, you fold into two, okay? When you're cutting either the front or the back, you fold into two because we divide by four. So when you fold two, cutting the front, you fold two, cutting the back, that is complete four, all right? Now, once you're folded to your highest measurement, now, Let's start, okay? We still go by the same pattern, all right? I'm trying to make it easy so that even those that does not have the basic knowledge can equally understand. I have shoulder eight, all right? And I have half length. Now, this is the back. There's nothing like bust point, under bust, all right? So, it's just your basic blouse. And my half uh, gown length is um, 25 and half. Okay? So, this is it. 
all right now my box point is 10 sorry 10 and half my box point is 10 and half so let's roll it out So this is it. The next thing is our nipple to nipple for the dart. We have two ways, all right? Let's mark out our measurement first. The shoulder is eight. Now remember there will be a zip allowance, you know, whenever you're sewing your back. Let's say the zip allowance is there. Um, one and a half inches. But in this dress, there's no zip. Okay, have that in mind. There's no zip. There's no zip added here, so at the back. So there won't be zip. Our shoulder is um, eight. Just come here and mark our eight. All right. Now, once you've done that, the next thing is from here you mark two inches. Two inches. Once you've marked it, you connect it. Now, what is this two inches for? This two inches is for the back. The back will have an eye left. All right. You know now and lace so we need space for our base cut out this part will be cut out all right two inches so but well, once we are taking our measurement we'll start from here our boss is 14 so we are starting from here to take the measurement 14 the other. Our waist, watch me, I'm starting from even where I'm cutting off. Sorry, it's 14 and a half. Our hip, watch me, I'm starting from here. Okay, it's 15. We'll connect it. Whenever you're sewing a, a breast tube, Mm -hmm. and you're having the effect where the waist is bigger than the boss don't worry it's because of the that all right that is why now these two inches is off one the next thing for us now is for us to divide what we have left into three we have 12 and a half let's say 12 12 divided by 3 parts gives us 4, right? So, from here you start marking 4. You start marking 4. 4 down. You connect. Let me label this, sorry. This is my waist, my BP, all right? And this is hip or blouse length, whichever one. Then we have marked the first four. Let's mark the second four. Now, once you have done that, you come to the waist here, take half half inches, 
half half from the bus point here you connect it you connect it down to I think that take half inches take half inches you connect you see that you connect from here to down connect from this one to down that now my back this is the shoulder anyway this is the shoulder now my back why I stopped at the bus point all right is because my back will not be high it will even be deeper okay it will be deeper now but if you don't want you want your back high okay you can go up my bus point is 10 all right imagine you want it at 9 or even if you want it here even if you want it here at the, the only thing you do is start your marking will start from here Have that in mind. You see, they are the same. So this is our back. All right, I did half half inches in. So now it's time for us to label it this way: one, two, three. And this is our back 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 always label it makes it easy when cutting okay so this is our back now let's come to the back ne um let's come to the the neck the down the the depth of the back neck now you can decide that your back will come from here all right it can come from here whichever way you want it but note that this join in here must be the same with the back okay so let's cut As usual, you cut the basics first. All right. Let's give the basics. Remember, we are taking out this one. So we are taking it out. Okay, now this is what we have. We have cut the basics. So what needs to do is cut. in the back or after joining that is when I'll do that so this is it alright I need to Label up, 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 D for the down, D. So we don't mistakenly turn it upside down, okay? So the next thing is for us to mark it on the fabric. 
So this is the fabric. All right, I'll cut them out. Once I've done that, right, I'll show you.